Hello everybody, George Mens here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the Good Morning Marigold stamp to represent a Christmas rose. Um, I got this idea from Pinterest. I've gone back and looked to see who it was who put it on and I couldn't find it again. Awfully sorry. I couldn't name you. But this... A card similar to this is on Pinterest and it ain't mine. So um, to make this stamp I've used Good Morning Magnolia and I've used that image but not that leaf. Just the flower and the four leaves here. To get these little berries they're supposed to be I've used, love what you're doing, I've used that image there. So I could colour the berries in. It was the only one I could find that I could make it look like berries. And the Merry Christmas comes from Star of Light stamp set. My cards is a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a white piece of uh, card for the inside, already stamped with a sentiment hope your season builds hope this season start again hoping this season builds heartwarming memories I've a red piece of red real red at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I have another piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters I have a scrap of red for the sentiment and a scrap of white for the flower. I also have some ferns here that I cut out. Now, I only had two old olive left. I only need four. I couldn't find another scrap of old olive. So, I've used mossy meadow. So, I'm going to add mossy meadow. I think I'll look all right. I didn't want to cut into a brand new sheet of old olive just for two ferns. So that's them there. That's that. Now we're going to stamp. I need a scrap piece of paper for this. I've got our big flower. Have you noticed I haven't got the leaf on the uh, block because I don't want that. All right, Memento Black Ink. Ink it up nicely. And lay it down on this scrap a card. I didn't know if it would be big enough but we'll soon see. Yeah, nice. Clean that up. Don't need that. bring out the other ink. This is Versafine Onyx Black and my strip of red for my Merry Christmas. I'm going to stamp that there. That's nice. Put that away, don't need that anymore. And what I am going to try and do, I don't know if it'll work. I'm going to 
and let the Yeah, that's fine. That was left there from another card. And I'll cut that accordingly when I need to. Right, we're going to colour this in. Odd olive on the leaves as normal. one that's the leaves done all right I've got this is pink pearl but in my case it's powder pink because that's what I re-inked it and all I'm doing is the base of the flower just adding a little bit of pink not too much I just want a hint of pink on my flowers Like that. I bet that doesn't make a bit of difference to you from that angle. Can you see just a palest bit of pink on it? And then with Daffodil Delight, I'm colouring in the centre. That's our colouring done. And then we're going to cut it out by hand. Remember, when you're cutting out by hand, if you move the card and not your scissors, you'll get a better cut. I keep forgetting to do this in view of the camera. I do it too close to my body.
must say the bigger the image the easier it is to cut out there we are our flower Now we get our front of our card and we place that where we want it. I'm going to place it there. And with the bubbles and our black ink, we are going to stamp these down. Now I am going to stamp one there, place that back down again. another one just to the side of it like that one between the leaves one here put it all back do something like that and then I'm also going to do one here I'm not going to do one there because there's going to be two ferns there. So, get that back down. And what we're going to do with our real red blender, dark, is just colour all the bubbles in. These are supposed to be berries, so red berries. I'm sure if I looked through my dye, I could have um, <coughs> found something that looked like berries. Sorry about that. Nearly done. Place that back like that and then we get our ferns and we will put these two will sit under there like that sort of this one comes down there and then this one will come down there and that is our 
<coughs> Christmas flower. Right, so we need to put dimensionals on the back of the flower. Need to put quite a few on this. I do. But first of all, I need to stick this on the card base. So there are up to our mat. Place the mat. Yeah. On the card base. Sided. Right, let's take all these off. And place this down a little bit like that, and then get our ferns and place them in where I said we'll put them. Might have to lift up a bit. Oh, it's the wrong way around. That one needs to go this side. They lean different ways. This one goes in here. And this one. Go in there. Merry Christmas will go there. So we need to chop that off about there. So dimensionals keep putting them away. A big one and a small one. Right. Yeah. 
put a glue on here. Right, all we need now are some gems. Now I put two up in this corner, one in this side, one here, one here, and one here. More down. I mean, these do have sticky backs, but my heating is on, and because they're laying about, not doing anything, the sticky backs dry out. There we are, and that is my card. All done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.